today I'm going to try and capture a daytime lunar transit. I'm going to try and capture it with two different scopes, my Explorer Scientific and the Nexstar 8SC. I'm not going to use the Rasa because I don't think that one has enough focal length to actually see the, the International Space Station. Well, it might, but it won't be very detailed. And to fit the whole moon on the Nexstar 8SC, I added a reducer to it. And I'm going to use the ASI 1600 camera to try and fit that the whole moon. And uh, if just one of these scopes can get the, the space station, I'll consider this a success. The only problem is the clouds just moved in. It's been clear for a week. I can't believe this. And now the clouds are around. But it still might clear in a few hours. We'll see. And uh, what else did I want to say? Um, I did test the moon on both scopes yesterday during the day. And I can see the moon, but it's definitely has a faded out look compared to when you see it at night. So um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm on this Transit Finder website, and you can see right here that the transit is going to happen at 642. That's about 15 minutes from now. And I've only got a sliver of the moon to work with, but it's better than nothing. But what concerns me here is um, I've only the transit's only going to take 0.9 seconds, not even a full second. So I need to maximize my frames per second in sharp cap. So let's go into sharp cap really quick here. Okay, I, I took my face off the screen so we can see all of sharp cap here. And right now, um, uh, the capture area at, at the full capture area, here's the moon, and it's definitely not very bright during the daytime. So, but hopefully, I'll be able to see something fly across. I'm not even sure which end it's going this end or that end. But what concerns me here is um, the, dur the duration of the transit will be less than a second, and I'm capturing at this point, it says 14 frames per second. Hmm. And it doesn't really matter if I raise the gain because when your when your exposures are down in the milliseconds, it, it watch if I if I reduce the millisecond, reduce the exposure, the frames per second doesn't really make much difference. What I noticed the real bottleneck for the real bottleneck seems to be the capture area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the resolution. And I'm going to drop it down to half. Uh, I'm going to go down to 2600 by 2600. And let's see the, let's see. Uh, okay, now it's given me 18.8 milliseconds. This is my Explorer Scientific telescope, by the way. And uh, let me, let me. So I think I'm going to leave it on this resolution. Oops, 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 oops. I'm going the wrong way each time. right there. Tracking is pretty good on this because it was, I left it polar aligned from last night. I never put it away. Okay, I am back and I ran out of time. I, I don't have enough time to get the other scope going. So the Explorer Scientific will have to do. And let's see, um, the transit will be happening soon. I'm really nervous, jeez. Calm down, settle down, it's gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna record for one, well, I'll record for two minutes. Okay, it should be, it should be happening soon, so I'll be recording for two minutes and uh, keep our fingers crossed. I am now recording at 19 frames per second. I wish it was during the evening. My last three transits were clouded out and I had a bad feeling about this one, but you know what, the, the clouds finally cleared. I have about 20 minutes before I was ready to start. I'm watching my cable box and the time on the computer to see this transit. It's not 642 yet. It's 642.
Where are you? Come on. Did something happen? Did I miss it? I don't see it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw something. It, it went right across where it was supposed to. Stop capture. Success. Let's play back the video. I saw it. I saw it. I saw something. It, it went. Okay, I'm in this pip software now, and I'm going to tell it to open up the video I just captured in SharpCap. And there it is. So that's my AVI file. And let's see, I'm not going to animate it. I want to dump it. Let's see, I want to dump dump it out to, uh, let's try TIFF files. I'm going to dump it out to TIFF files so we can see the individual frames. This might actually take a while. Let's see. Oh, these, okay, so these are the individual frames that's dropped. It's... It's plunking down. Oh, this is going pretty fast. Um, but I'll come back when it's done. So then we'll look at the individual frames that actually have ISS in them. So it dumped all the files, and I found the files that contain the, the ISS, but it looks like a blur. <laughs> oh, well, live and learn. Maybe I should have tracked the ISS instead of staying in a, a fixed spot because it's simply moving too fast for me to get any detail on that. I would never guess that's the ISS, but it definitely is because it showed up in the right spot. And if I just scroll through them, you can see it. Oh, maybe, what does it look like? It's even harder to see against the moon. <laughs> but it was fun. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.